this smoke device is incredible. So you absolute legend, let's find out why. G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic Stumped. My name of course is Bo Creamer. Thank you so much for joining me on this absolutely cold but glorious Tuesday. Now Peter Eggick released his new effect Tornado only just yesterday and already we've been bombarded with loads of questions. So today we're finding out absolutely everything you need to know about Tornado by Peter Egging. But before we jump into this episode, I do want to tell you about this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the Card Slack bundle, stick around to it later on in the episode and I'll show you how to enter that giveaway. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of everything Tornado, kicking this episode off like we do every other week with the trailer. Roll that clip! This is the classic smoke to glass reinvented. Tornado is not just any smoke device, but this has specifically been designed to blend in with your deck of cards. So you add the gimmick to your own deck, perform your everyday card magic, and you're ready to go to blow them away. Perform the classic smoke to glass as never done before. For the first time, it's practical, very easy to do, very convenient, and the smoke is under your 100% control at all times. Tornado is not only designed to do the classic smoke to glass effect, but it is created to elevate your everyday card magic. Use it to change cards, to reveal cards, or use the tornado gimmick in your favorite haunted deck routine. How good does that look? I know you already have some burning questions, so let's get straight into it. Kicking it off with the project itself. When the mailman arrives, what do you get inside your box? So apart from your online instructional tutorial, you receive your tornado gimmick, a red and blue bicycle card gimmick, micro USB charging cable, remote control, and your smoke fluid. Now onto that tutorial itself. How does this look when you watch it at home? Well, what you're seeing on screen right now is the tutorial in its absolutely glorious detail. Everything is crystal clear and very well shot. There's multiple camera angles, but me, myself, if I'm nitpicking, I maybe would have liked some close-ups of the device being filled up, but the overall angle shot and the explanation, I followed it along extremely well at home, and I was actually never left wondering, I don't know what's going on. I knew exactly what was going on every step of the way. So the close-ups might have been nice, but also not very necessary. Now, if you're saying, hey, Bo, stop right there. I need to know nothing else. Well, actually, maybe I just need to know the price. How much is Tornado? Well, my friend, you can pick it up right now for $150. There'll be a link in the description below right now to a magic shop, or you can get it worldwide at your favorite magic shop. And with the skill level, this gets even better with the skill level of a beginner magician to be able to do this. The device itself is very, very easy to use, very, very easy to refill. Now onto the device and gimmicks themselves. Are they well built? Are they gonna last you a lifetime? Well, yeah, actually I was very impressed by the quality of these gimmicks. The device is only six millimeters thick and the amount of detail and R&D has gone into this to make this last and look incredible is phenomenal. Now the device itself isn't actually a utility smoke device. It is specifically designed to produce smoke from a glass, like as in the trailer or to add smoke to a haunted deck routine or a color change. So make sure you keep that in mind. Peter and his team have covered every single angle, including the red and blue gimmicks that you get along with this. They're made from a, like a plastic PVC card, but they look and feel like regular bicycle cards. They are in fact legitimate plastic bicycle cards. Now the red and blue gimmicks do different things. Really, you could use your blue gimmick instead of the red one, but the red one is built so much better for those card routines that you want to do with it. Now onto the smoke device itself. Let's talk about the battery life. Now from a completely dead battery to fully charged, you're looking at about four hours charge time. But once charged from full battery down to zero battery, you're looking at about eight hours. And with the smoking fluid, you're only going to need about one drop of that fluid to create all that smoke. 
which is actually really cool because the smoking fluid that's included in your package means it's going to last you a long, long time. Now that smoking fluid as well, you can also pick it up absolutely anywhere. It doesn't have to be bought from dealers. You can get it from Amazon, eBay, your local convenience store. It's available everywhere. Now you may be wondering, can you use your own playing cards? Well, the red and blue gimmicks are especially handmade and from, like I mentioned, that plastic bicycle card. So they last a long, long time and they can be cleaned. So if you want to learn how the gimmick is made by looking at the plastic gimmicks and maybe cut up your own cards and make your own, you possibly could, but they are really, really, really well made. So unless you're a really decent gimmick builder, maybe not and just use your red and blue card gimmicks or even contact Peter to see if he can help you create your own card gimmicks. Now onto those sound levels themselves. This device is practically silent. There's a slight hum if you're going to be performing this in a monastery or in a graveyard because there is a fan involved, but overall it is really, really quiet. Now you may be wondering who will actually perform Tornado by Peter Egink. Well, this is perfect for close up walk around magicians. This is amazing for stage magicians, incredible for social media, TV magicians, literally every magician that wants to do card magic, this is for you. To be honest, I haven't seen a real downside of who actually won't perform this. Now, depending on how crazy you go with your smoke during each performance, you may be looking at about a five to 10 second reset time which is honestly super perfect for close up walk around. You can reset it on the way to the next table. And also for you parlor magicians, this is perfect for having that sit on the table, ready to go whenever you need it. And the way the smoke actually bellows up and sits on top of your close up mat, beautiful. Now let's take a break from this breakdown for just a wee second, because I want to find out who won last episode's bundle. So classic magician pose, please. Whoa, what a good looking fella. Now, congratulations, my friend. You're the winner of last episode's bundle. So if you could DM me on any of Murphy's socials, I'll get that prize out to you quicker when you can say, hey, how do you get a turtleneck like that? Now onto this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the close-up card magic bundle, all you need to do is comment below what card trick would you perform with Tornado? Would you do your classic haunted deck routine? Would you do a color change? Or would you do a card production? What card trick would you do? Let me know below and I'll choose someone out at random and you'll be announced in the next episode. So good luck. Also, if you haven't checked out last week's episode of Stumped, make sure you do card on screen right now. It's where I go over absolutely everything you need to know about this incredible piece of magic. Now let's get into the tutorial itself. What do you actually learn? Well, in the one hour long tutorial, you actually learn so, so much. Now, Peter actually includes three routine ideas to get you started. He also covers maintenance and working of your device, so you can keep it in crystal clear, tip top form. Now onto the deck and gimmick itself. Is it examinable? Well, no, it's a smoke device. Say if you're using this for your haunted deck routine, the card that the spectator wants to check out is their chosen card, their signed card that's been put back into the deck. But also having said that, you can also spread the deck out because that gimmick is only six millimeters thick. You can spread your deck out, show it as a regular deck. You can shuffle your deck. You can also handle it like a real deck. But if you really, really, really want your deck examined while the spectator is checking out their signed card, switch the deck out for the deck you've been using this whole other entire time during all your other card routines. It's really that easy. Now let's get into the angles of Tornado. What are the angles like? Well, if you're at like table level with you're sitting down with your spectators, the close around with the smoke and glass, you may be looking at about 180 degrees. But if you're actually performing this on the ground or a lower table, you could probably perform this 360 degrees surrounded. Now onto the other gimmick with all your card stuff, you could definitely perform this 360 degrees surrounded as the gimmick isn't in view at all during the whole performance. So depending on which routine you do, you're looking from 180 degrees to 360 degrees surrounded, which is pretty damn good. Okay, so this all sounds pretty good. So let's sum this up into a nice little package. This is smoke in a glass reinvented. Perform the classic smoke to glass as never done before. For the first time ever, it's super visual, super easy, and super practical to perform. Tornado is the closest thing to real magic. Now, Tornado is not limited to the smoke to glass effect but it is designed to elevate your everyday card magic in stealth mode. Cleverly designed and hidden in plain sight inside a six millimeter thin gimmick made to blend in with your own deck of bicycle cards. Make cards appear magically under the glass. Use it to level up your color changes 
or add that extra dimension of mystique to your favorite haunted deck. Now, Tornado's original unique smoke system has taken over four years of R&D. Now, if you want to see more on Tornado by Peter Egink, there's a link in the description below right now. You can pick it up for $150 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now, my friend, I hope that answers all your questions you had on Tornado. If you do have any other questions, please throw them down in the comment section below, but make sure you use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now, my friend, I know you're insanely super busy, so I will let you get back to your Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow on What's New This Week or on Saturday for our Saturday Sorcery or on our Discord for our weekly jams, trivia, games, hangouts, and even more. Now, take care, my friend. See you later. Bye for now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there. You won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey, look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself.